What's up now friends? It's Sarah here and today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some more stuff I got in from Glitter Bells. So yeah, let's get started. So today we're gonna start with these cute little flowers. So these are flowers that are quite big and these would be inlaid inside the nail. So I think each one of these comes with two. I'm too scared to pull this apart because it's quite delicate. But what really catches my eye here is, although this might seem like something you'd use in the spring or summer, but if you use this one, this one, this one, and this one together, you could create a really nice fall set with these. So that's what I'm looking to do soon. And then I'll save all the other colors for the summer and the fall and it'll be great. I really like this green one too. These are all actually really nice. But um, yeah, I'm definitely thinking these ones for the fall. That'll be great. Okay, the next thing I want to show you guys are these sugars. So you guys probably know how to use sugars, and if you don't, I'll insert like a little clip here showing you guys how to use them. But basically, you just do your nail design, and then you put a no-wipe top coat on or hard gel, and then you sprinkle this on, and then you cure it double the time. Um, you want to cure it double the time so it can penetrate through the glitter into the top coat and cure it perfectly onto that. So. All of these are really nice. You can kind of see that they all shine a little bit different. So this one has like a purple tint to it. This one is really sparkly and has kind of a gold tint to it. I really like this one. I hope you guys can see that it's really, really sparkly because yeah, it really is. This one has a green tint. Actually, these ones are pretty similar. They might actually be the same, are they? No, they're not. Okay, so this one has more of like a gold tint and this one's like a greeny gold tint. They're very similar but different. Uh, this one has that kind of like orangey tint. This one's very very light lilac and this one's green. So yeah these will be really nice for doing any kind of sugar. So I love to do like line work and then sprinkle some sugar on it and then it just makes your lines look even more perfect. So if you struggle with line work definitely add sugars or acrylic on top and it'll make it look nicer. So that's what these look like. Okay, next I wanna share with you these little inlay glitters. So two of these I already used on my last set and I will link that in the top corner. And this is so pretty. This is one of the ones I used and I just love it. So sparkly. And these tiny pots will, will, will go a long way, trust me. So here's the purple that I used in that set. Okay, so we have three more that I didn't use in that set but I wanted to share you guys. So this one's similar to that purple but it's like a teal blue. Whoa, it's so shiny. And this one doesn't just have circular glitter in it. It also has little thorn pieces too. Do you guys see that? Oh, this one's so sparkly. And then this one is like a silver circular glitter, but it's so sparkly. Usually when I'm filming, my lights will hide any of the hollow because they just do that. But clearly not for this so you guys can imagine that this is really sparkly if you can actually see it in my camera with the lights then trust me it's really bright and sparkly and then we have these uh, kind of like mermaid looking dots so those are really nice those will be really cool doing like a mermaid set so I'll definitely do that so next we have these glitters you can use these in so many different ways um, I'm gonna mix them with acrylic and put them on swatches for you guys. So this one is a red and pink. So this will be really great for Valentine's Day. So I'm just gonna use my Glitter Bells number 12 brush and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the glass slippers and then dip it in and then put it into my swatch stick here. This way I can share with my clients some new colors I got in since I consider stuff like this more of like a glitter acrylic or you could use it with gel and uh, some of those smaller containers you saw earlier I would use more as inlays so that's what this one looks like so pretty oh my gosh I love it okay the next one is this one is kind of like a silver and purpley color so I really love these loose glitters they're so versatile like I said you can use them mixed with acrylic like I am doing right here, or you can use them as inlays, or you can mix them with gel. So they're very versatile. So that's what this one looks like. Okay, then we have a silver one here. Another super bright silver. So I'll show you this one next to that earlier inlay. So you can see they're very sparkly. So again, I'm just picking up a bead of that glass slippers by Glitter Bells 
and putting this into a little swatch stick, creating a little glitter color. And as you can see, I don't really use that much. These pots are small, but they'll last a very long time. Okay, this one totally reminds me of something I'll use at Halloween. It's green and purple. This doesn't have to be a Halloween design. You could use this many different ways to create a really pretty set. This could also be used in more of like a whimsical fairy type set. It doesn't just have to be Halloween. Green and purple are opposite on the color wheel, so they actually do complement each other nicely. And green and purple are my sister's favorite colors together. <laughs> so that's what this one looks like. I really like that um, the purple and green are very mixed together really well, if you know what I mean. It's like the perfect one-to-one -one ratio. It's not overpowered by green, not overpowered by purple. It's perfect. Okay, this one is, oh, I used this one already. Oh, I love it. So this one I did use in a set recently, in a fall set actually, and I really like it. It's kind of like bronze and like champagne together. It's perfect for the fall. So that's what that one looks like. Beautiful fall glitter color. And the last one here is this really, really pretty lilac and blue kind of mermaid color. So I think it's actually called Mermaid Glitter on the site. And I did use this in a set recently and it was so shiny. Oh my God, I love it. It's so pretty just on its own. It really doesn't need anything else. It's just so nice on its own, super pretty. Okay, next I want to share with you guys some of the Glitter Bells acrylics. So I showed you guys in my haul video that I got like the cover, the Peacher Bell cover, the soft, the shimmer, but these are different ones that I didn't have already. So um, this one is called Pinker Bell Sheer. So I guess it's their sheer pink. You could use this with doing French nails or whatever. So I'm just gonna swatch this in a swatch stick and show you guys the color. So this is supposed to be a translucent sheer color. It's not a cover pink. So when you do French nails, sometimes people do this. Uh, as their nail bed color. It gives a really natural look. You can also pull this over top of baby boomers. There's many ways to get use out of this. I really like how dark this is. I do have some clients who really like the darker pinks than more of a sheer pink. It's really pretty, hey? Okay, this one is the Pinker Bell cover. So it's not Peacher Bell cover. So I think it's more pink. So let's take a look and we can compare that. I can compare this with the Peacher Bell cover. Okay, so here is the Pinker Bell cover. Here is the Peacher Bell cover. So you guys can see that they're similar, but slightly different. So Peacher Bell is definitely more peach. And Pinker Bell has more of that natural nude kind of pink tone. See, you can see the difference here. So I don't know if they make this in a shimmer, but I'm sure they will. And I love it. I like both of them, but I really love the P Pinker Bell cover. It's just like slightly more of a tone that I would wear instead of the peach. Really pretty. Okay, and the last um, Glitter Bells kind of cover pinks I have here is the Sugared Almond. Okay, so I really like this one. This one is my favorite cover pink right now of all time. And I did use this in my last tutorial video. I think it's really nice because it's more nude, a lot more nude than pink, a lot more nude than peach. It's just such a versatile nude. I can't wait to see it in shimmer if they make it in shimmer, I don't know. Okay, so that's what the Sugared Almond looks like. So let's compare. Here is Sugared Almond, here is the Pinker Bell cover, and then here is the Peacher Bell cover. So which one is your guys' favorite? Right now, I've been using the Sugared Almond a lot, but sitting next to the Pinker Bell cover, I feel like I like that one a lot too. I, I just really like the Glitter Bell's uh, color range. I feel like they did a really good job with their color range, but um. Yeah, I've been using the Sugared Almond quite a bit. It's really nice. So which one is your favorite? Let me know down below if it's Sugared Almond, Pinker Bell Cover, or Peacher Bell Cover. So next I wanted to show you some of these other um, acrylic kind of colors that they have in their line. So I already showed you guys the Liquid Gold in the last haul video I had. So that's what that Liquid Gold looks like if you guys forgot. But now they also have Liquid Silver. Look at this. Wow. So since it looks like liquid, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys how it marbles. So I'm gonna marble this with some of the Glitter Bells colors here. So I'm gonna use the Snowdrops White and I will marble it with one of the cover pinks too. 
Alright, so let's pull out the Peacher Bells Soft Shimmer. And I'm going to marble all of these together and it's going to be really nice. So I'm just going to switch a br my brush to a smaller brush for this. I don't normally use a huge brush for marbling. So I'm just going to use a small brush here. I'm going to pick up some of that white and cover pink and place it down. This is what I would do if I was doing this on a client and do it near the cuticle area. So this can be nice and wet. This is just your cuticle line. And I'm just feathering that down the nail. And now I'm gonna pick up some of that white and a little dot of that liquid silver. And you can see that that really does look like liquid silver. It's so cool. It marbles really nicely. Just gonna pick up some of that nude. So I love the soft shimmer in all of the, the shimmery cover pinks they have. It's so soft and pretty. So when you're doing like a marble design like this, you really don't need to work with it too much. Just pull the colors through each other. If you have any like obvious lines here that you don't like, you can just pull your brush through it to kind of blend them better. So yeah, just like that. So cool, hey? Doesn't it look like liquid silver? So fun. So I really love the liquid gold and the liquid silver. So you can also do this on its own with clear acrylic, obviously. So here's what the liquid gold looks like in a swatch stick. And then I'll do a swatch of the silver for you guys. So I'm picking up some of that glass slippers clear, the liquid silver on my brush, and then just spreading that in here. So this is just a swatch stick. This doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but obviously I'd apply it nice and evenly on a client. So that's what this liquid silver looks like. How nice is that? Oh my god, I love this. Once I heard about this liquid silver, liquid gold, I was like, yes, I need that. So I'm glad I got that in. So that's what the liquid silver looks like. Okay, so they also have carbon black and golden brownie. So golden brownie is like a black with some, some gold glitter in it. And then we have literally the most solid black I've ever seen. And the brush I'm using is the Glitter Bells number 12 here. Okay, so that's what Golden Brownie looks like. This will be really nice for the fall. As you guys can see, it's got that like more of a sheer black finish with the gold in it. Really looks really nice for fall. I hope my lighting is not off here today. But anyways, yeah, that's what Golden Brownie looks like. More stuff I have in before I'm going to show you some of these flakies that I also have in is the Acid Free Primer. I haven't tried the Acid Free Primer with the brand I'm using currently. But I might try it this week and see how it lasts. And uh, I got the No Wipe Top Coat. You probably saw this in my last haul video, but it's really nice and shiny. And I really like the white brush. I don't know why. I just like it. It's kind of soft and smooth and a little bit different. It's a little bit different for application. I really like that. And then I also have one of these little cuticle tools. So this one's fun because it's rainbow. Hell yeah. But this one's way smaller than my normal one. So I kind of like it. It's like, it doesn't take up as much space. And cuticle tool. Really pretty. Okay, and the last pile of stuff I have here to show you guys are more flakes. I've already used most of these up. So these are just some copper foil. I really love foil. So you guys probably use foil too and they carry that. So that's great. And then here they have some chromes. So I'm not going to show you guys the chromes, but I like on a swatch, but I will show you the flakes. But let's look at these. So you can see that this one will create kind of a purple chrome finish. This one will create more of a green and then this one will be more of like a gold. But remember that these are sheer and see-through. This isn't a gold chrome. It's a sheer gold finish. So if you did like a pink nail, it'd have like a gold tint to the top of it. So yeah, that's what these ones look like. And then the flakies. So I love flakes and I've used these in my tutorial that I just posted. I use the purple one here, so this is number two. So I'll show you guys what these look like. Rubbed into a tacky layer on a black versus white, so you can see the color difference when it's next to these. So number two is the flakes from the purpley kind of flakes. So you can also put these inside your acrylic, but I'm just gonna show you what these look like on top of black. See, it shines that purple, so pretty. And then on top of white. You can see when it's on top of a lighter color, it, show, it shines the other color. So on top of a darker color, it kind of shows that purple and teal. And then on top of the lighter color, it's kind of like not as pretty, right? It's got that like 
yellow tint to it. So, so this purple one would be great on top of purples, on top of blacks, on top of dark colors, but not so much on top of light colors. So that's what that one looks like. Okay, then we have number one. So this one looks like it's gonna be more of a green and pink tint. So on top of, oh cool. Yeah, on top of uh, black, it looks like green and yellow. On top of white, it looks more of like that angel paper, that really pretty kind of like pink and green. So this one's really versatile because you can see it looks nice on the white and it looks nice on the black. Okay, and the last one I have here is number five. So let's see what this looks like on the black. So this one's definitely more turquoise and green. Ooh, pretty. That's so pretty. Wow. Okay, and then on top of green, it's very similar to the last one. It has more of that green, or on top of white, sorry. It has more of that um, green tint and pink. So let's compare the three here. So this is the one I just did, number five, and then the purple, and there we go. So you can see the differences on top of the black and on top of the white. Okay, which one is your favorite? Number two, number one, or number five? Let me know down below. I think I like them all, and I think that they're all would be nice depending on what you do it with, so. <laughs> You can't go wrong with flakes. You just you just can't. So I hope you guys like this haul video. If there is anything here that you do choose to pick up, I do have a discount code for you guys now. So it's just Sarah. <laughs> just straight Sarah. So just use my discount code and you guys will get a discount. I do not make commission on that code. It's just there for you guys. So I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my description box for everything listed here to check out Annabelle's page. And yeah, always check out my description box because I write a lot of stuff in there and I don't want you guys to miss anything. I'll see you guys next time. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong.